Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. Yeah, Pisces, thank you for the support you've been showing the channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get started. I hope all is well. This first deck I'm going to use, uh, Pisces, is the Archangel Raphael deck. We're going to see what comes out. Oh, there it is. There it is. Diet is important here. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices and for reducing or eliminating my cravings for unhealthy substances. So this is you if you're in any type of recovery or something It's saying that the diet is important. This can be recovery from a surgery. It can be recovery from actual substances, unhealthy substances. Just <clears throat> it could be. Like say you have some type of injury, it's just saying to take care of yourself here. This could be in all type of ways. Yeah, say you just been mentally or physically feeling down. I feel like this card can just saying that your diet is playing an important role in your healing. Especially if this could be a heartbreak. Saying just eat healthier. It'll make you help you feel a lot better. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what else we get. Also walking, I'm hearing too, for those of you who can, if you're healing for surgery, obviously not. Intention, peace. So something is um, intended to someone, this could be you or someone towards you, but there is with this peace here as an intention, is this could be what you just want. You just want a peaceful life at this point. You could be going, you could have been going through a lot. And right now you're like, you know what? My biggest focus focus is happy and just to be at peace no drama or anything okay but this is um <clears throat> this card also talks about your inner balance and outer harmony okay and <clears throat> you could be like your mind could be starting to be more peaceful but it's basically saying things are balancing out okay pisces and especially this could be why you want that uh, mental health or just like to be in a more peaceful place. The divine is saying, Archangel Raphael, the divine is saying that um, diet is important when it comes to that, too. <clears throat> then we have the five of cups. The nine of cups. The eight of pentacles. And the two of pentacles. Good, good. You have the ace of wands underneath this five of cups. <clears throat> so where you've been disappointed and kind of looking at all the things that went wrong, all the things that's not working, new energy is coming in for you. Six of wands over with this. If you guys been wanting recognition or something, especially in the work that's coming towards you, or if you could be, this could be someone that maybe hurt you once you want to just overcome all that that's what you want just to have some peace at this point no more conflict no more looking at the past is what i'm getting yeah because your heart has been broken and you've been putting a lot of work in trying to fit heal yourself and just get to a better place trying to balance out your life with this two of pentacles and the king of cups so you've been doing a lot of chopping out, making decisions too. Oh, what's best for me? Maybe holding your energy back too. For some of you, there's someone that wants to come back into your life. But I feel like finances may be playing a, a, a factor or their stability could be playing a big factor in this person coming back. But right now, I feel like you're just wanting to be at a peaceful place. And this could even be your energy. Maybe finances is stopping something from moving forward with you. Even though I feel like this is more on the emotional level with you and you just cutting out, cutting ties with things that have passed and being in a better place. There's a sense of renewal here, too, with that uh, judgment card. And it's going to be a time where you feel a lot better than things are right now. Please clarify this five of cups and the ace of wands for Pisces divine. OK, you have. The Knight of Cups, that could be just opening up um, 
emotionally, emotionally feeling about it moving forward. You could be opening up to your creativity too with the, um, there's some of you guys spiritual gifts, but I'm feeling more a creativity, something um, that is going to inspire you to do something creative for uh, some of you. Then you have the night of source, someone coming to communicate about a commitment. So, um, but this could also be you just growing spiritually. It's like your soul, your spirit just feeling a lot better than it was before. And you moving forward on that. But for some of you, this is definitely someone coming to communicate about, offer a commitment to you. And this person may have um, put you in a third party before, it may have, okay? I don't, I don't feel like that's the case with all of you guys. I just feel like things didn't work out. Some of you, I feel like this... Things just didn't work out, okay? Six of Wands with the Nine of Cups. So you want to overcome. Temperance. I go that peace of mind you've been wanting. Some of you guys could have been dating a Sagittarius or a Taurus. Or any other water sign. It could be a fellow Pisces like yourself. A Cancer or a Scorpio. Eight of pentacles and the three of swords now I go that ace of cups feeling better i feel like somebody's spiritual gifts is opening up too your intuition is going to be on fire for somebody here yeah you letting the past go you're kind of tired you're sick of it over it wanting to get to a new place mentally you could be focusing more of on your finances, home, that type of life. Just wanting that stability throughout. Some of you guys could be focusing on a business or just work in general. Why is this two of pentacles here? I feel like somebody, for some of you, this is someone who wants to offer you something but don't know how or it's a wishy-washy energy with this person. I think this person, some of you this person could drink every now and then, but I don't think it's a big You letting your guard down. Yeah, it's like that over it energy. Where maybe you once were fighting for something, not fighting anymore. Tired of competing, tired of the pettiness, just over it. And yeah, this is a relationship that I kept feeling within this too. Something that may heal. A lot of this conflict started with a relationship, but you've been doing a lot of meditation or healing. Or this could be you or this person contemplating how to fix this. Let's get some more cards. This is the Love Oracle. It's just a little clarifying, um, a clarifying deck. For some of you, this person was in a relationship and maybe a possibly another relationship. I feel like more, mostly you've been working on getting your emotions together, getting them stable. Because I feel like there was a time when you couldn't control your emotions. They were kind of all over the place. Self-absorbed, one-sided, narcissist, love bombing. And that's where this disappointment came in. Because when you wanted commitment, someone was uh, worried about themselves, possibly offering to another person. You do have two women fighting over somebody in this and not saying they, but they're both attacking him. They're not fighting each other, but that's, that could be because of this person's behavior, which caused a lot of disappointment, but there's good energy coming in. So if this reading, the divine wants to tell you in this reading, like, just keep going forward. You have something good and um, change your diet because it'll help like make you feel better. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, surprise, in invitation or meet and hesitation. So someone just you can be at peace. Just know that love is coming. If this is someone returning from the past, they may be hesitating because of whatever this five of cups energy was. And that could have been a third party. Yeah, this person is looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Want to come in and make this offer. Or regretting this heartbreak for sure with the five of cups in this. 
the good thing is this person wants to put in the hard work to just be happy also. So both of you guys are at that. But it's like need times, take time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So the reason why this person could be wishy-washy or things are up and down right now is because it's a time of healing. Right now, it's not the time for this to move forward. There you go. Twin flame, um, yin-yang balance, union, duality, coupling, complements each other. So you and this person is destined to have a commitment with this coming near this, uh, this, um, Hierophant right here, and that's this new beginning right here. Also, once that once time things heal, so it's not the time. There were too many options for this person in the past. They wasn't sure. I just got that from this right here, and then you have breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So you kind of abandon this situation for a while to get your peace, or this person did. Someone did. I like to kind of heal and balance things out. But what you did by doing that is you stopped the pattern of maybe an in and out energy. Someone taking advantage of a situation. If this is something new for you, the divine is saying it, it's you, you gain more peace by stopping those patterns. Wedding rings. Um, you have union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So you guys are meant to get married. And that's what this coming under this new um, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. And uh, you're going to physically see this person working hard. They miss you and they want to come back and like offer something long time, an everlasting promise, wedding, marriage. I feel like this person hurts just as much as you. Girl with snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled or boundaries. So it's time, if even when this person does come back, make sure that you, I'm not saying be completely mean, but make sure that there's boundaries here. Eventually to be time, but with this coming out, with this um, empath and narcissist paradigm and need time to heal, that's what's going on right now. This person is healing also with you. And it's time to make healthier choices. I do see. It's like time that it, it, that time of saying it's over. So say you haven't got to a point to where you guys have completely separated and like you guys kind of still talk, still back and forth in and out. And it's saying it's time to set some boundaries here. So this person don't get them second chance so they can grow and transform them like this themselves. Okay. Um, Pisces, unless you want to keep experiencing this two of, of this five of cups energy. Let's see what messages do we have for, I'm going to get you a whisper of love card and then we get in reading. Messages do we have for Pisces? You have choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. For some of you, you kind of been at a point of giving up on this just for a peace of mind. Maybe you fear nothing's going to happen. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to treasure, treasure others deeply. Okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.